My name is Yogi. I'm here in Las Vegas. This is where I live at and everything. I'm from Los Angeles, but I'm here in Las Vegas because we're representing the Green Vegas Project, which is we're doing crowdfunding from the general public in support of having responsible research development and licensing of cannabis sightseeing companies here in Las Vegas, particularly the Green Strip the Green Strip Wellness Crawl, that's the main company, but it's about bringing responsible tourism here to Las Vegas, sightseeing tourism. Now, that's not actually the surprise subject. Here it is. You said earlier when you saw my tattoo that said USMC, thank you for your service. What did you mean by that? I think anybody who take that kind of pledge, that kind of an oath to selflessly defend people they never met, that's deep. Well, who do you think I was serving in the military? I think that if you join the military, you're giving yourself to the country that you're, you're, you're representing. You're representing, if you're in the United States Marine Corps, then the Marine Corps protects the United States. Well, the country or the government? That's an interesting question. Well, now we're getting to breaking down to technicalities. Would you call that semantics? I don't know. Would you go? Well, you said before the government doesn't really represent the people, right? Not all the time. And the military works not for the people, but for the government. Well, they execute the laws of the government. They execute the laws. The military. And who makes the laws? Well, the government. So and and who pays for the laws? The people. No, who pays? Like, who, who, who pays? <laughs> Lobbyists? Yes, definitely. So as a, as a member of the military, is it possible that I was really serving bankers, lobbyists. politicians, war profiteers, lobbyists? You were serving your orders you were serving you were you were given directions and you were taught to serve based on the directions given not to question but to serve so it doesn't matter what your orders were as long as you did the orders you were given and carried those orders out i think you did your job it, well what if it wait well what if i was serving the devil you know like you know it's unfortunate but god even says if you believe in god that whatever your job is be in that place at the right time doing what you're supposed to do you're doing what's right well, I, I mean, it's it's not right if you're serving the devil, right? If it's so, it's not right if you're serving the devil. But I mean, does the devil have blonde hair that look like a hairpiece, and is he POTUS? <laughs> I don't know. But you said we were defending the country. What was the last time the United States was attacked by any kind of foreigners, like on any kind of significant scale? No time that I can well, remember. Nine eleven, right? Well, but that one that was an attack. Yes, it was an attack on our country, but there was no. Nobody brought ships to our shoreline and tried it. Well, why did the people who attacked us on 9-11 attack us? <laughs> who said that the people that attacked us was from the outside? What are you saying? I'm just saying things happen. And I'm not saying that... I'm just saying everything ain't what it seems. Magic shows us that smoke and mirrors make you believe anything. Hands are faster than the eye. Like so, you know, with the right amount of money, I bet you can make a building disappear. Like it would make you think that you got to thank someone for their service, right? Well, hey, my dad served in the military and I'm glad he's home, you know what I mean? And if whatever he did in the military made it possible for me to smoke marijuana because I got a bad back because I had a bad trucking accident, thank you. If whatever he did in the military... If what he did in the military was supporting government, it made it harder for you to smoke weed. It reinforced government. It strengthened government. It strengthened the drug war. It delayed legalization for him to go and work for the government. The thing is this. I'm not mad. I'm, I'm, I'm upset at some of the things that's going on. You know, I'm not going to get into details. But I'm just saying... Dude, a lot of people died to try to make a lot of things happen. And I don't... I'm not mad at them. If they were in the military and the military didn't actually do what they supposed to do, I'm sorry that happened, but thank you for trying to do your job. That's a, that's a very important nuanced difference. I really appreciate that because that means that people can learn the lessons from our experience in the military. I was in Fallujah, Iraq in 2004. We were making enemies faster than we could kill them. 
You know, we were, we, were, we were imposing martial law on a foreign country. We were making terrorists. We were making America less safe, not only by going against the founders' vision of not having a standing army, but going and committing an act of aggression in the war and the occupation of Iraq itself, and making America less safe by saying, you're now subject to taxation at the federal government level in order to pay for all of this other criminal activity. Wow. So if anything, I'm really glad that you were able to see that there's, there's an important difference there that you can thank someone for being willing to go and defend you, but you don't have to thank them if they go and accidentally end up serving the devil instead of serving a cause of righteousness. You know, they fired the attorney general, right? Wasn't that the deputy, you know, Attorney General Talley that they fired, that Trump fired because she wouldn't right, execute right. his orders. I ain't mad at her, you know, if it goes against what you swore to do. You know what I mean? You swore to that. I can't be mad at you, you know. Maybe everybody should resign from the military then too, huh? And we could get back to the founders' vision of a real secure country with a militia defense rather than a standing army where the people defend themselves instead of turning to the government that screws things up for everybody and gets more people killed. I think, I mean, I believe that everybody should have their own arms, but I think there should also be an organized situation because a lot like, of other like, Could it be community-based militias then? I, I wouldn't use the word necessarily militia, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm just going to say that I believe there should be organization. It shouldn't just be lawlessness and a lot of people with guns at their own judgment and decision making because some people are fuck ups, man. You know what I mean? Some people... And, and we should stop electing them to public office. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Right. Thank you so much, hey, sir. No hey, problem, hey let me hit you up one more because you know what? I probably cost you another sale taking so much of your time hey, here. Okay, another man. donation. Yeah. Excuse me. It's not a problem, man. Not a problem. This is Adam Kokesh. Thanks for watching. Please share this video and support this production by going to patreon.com slash adamkokesh.